what is going on guys anger collections in the house for another video all right so not much going on right now i just really want to highlight a couple of things uh, i just want to showcase check this out man i don't know what to do with this uh, i know some of you guys have some of these as well but i have like a buttload of these art cards look at these these are i think these are modern horizon one yeah modern horizon one and have like multiples i think this is like a complete set over here and i think this these are um uh, modern horizon two art cards look at that chatter thing right there uh and you got damn i don't know what what to do with these i know like in tcg player um they sell like around five cents uh some of them have like value as well um i don't know what to do with these uh, there's like obviously some of the uh, playable cards as well and check this out i have like a lot of these signed oh look at that chatter thing right there um signed uh art cards right there and uh, honestly i have no idea what to do with these uh, i know there's like a local uh collector over here i uh, trying to buy a lot of these man and i might just like end up selling pretty much all of these i have n nothing to do with these art cards when it's just taking up space um but should i just like sell this dcg player maybe like pick through the, the ones that are like 10 15 20 cents um because it's just taking up space when i open a lot of modern horizon one and modern horizon two uh so that's kind of like one big thing i, I just want to showcase because i know you know set boosters was like a kind of like a big deal uh and you know we open a lot of these art cards right here maybe some of these are good proxy look at that ren and six right so maybe i don't know if if players use these for proxy i mean it's kind of like you know i mean kind of like a magic card right maybe if you want like proxy a card so i don't know what to do with that you know, let me know in the comments and then also i just want to uh i'm getting ready to buy list some of these bulk rares you know i got rares over here bulk foil rares uh i got regular mythics and then foil mythic so i got like a couple of questions about like buy listing uh collection or whatever like, you know bulk cards right so if um if you're a seller you you will notice some of these cards uh they they will sell man if you if you list it like 15 16 17 cents right but like as, as far as like tcg low since there's a lot of them in the market um yeah the value is like some even some of these rares is like tcg is like five cents and like even like a penny you know um so it's better it's better to just like move start moving them and i know you can still list them that's like 15 16 17 cents and yeah they will sell but it will take time man it will take time uh so i'd rather uh just buy list it in the store uh right now i'm gonna go uh dc uh not tcg player um cool stuff inc i usually go cool stuff inc and buy list uh some of these rares mythics i think for the rares they buy list them at six cents right so six cents on the regular rare on the foil rares i believe um 15 cents uh for the regular mythics uh i believe it's 25 cents and then for the foil mythics um what is that i think 35 cents so the the only reason why I mean, you guys, you know, see the cards, right? Uh, it doesn't is not doesn't make sense for me to to, le to list these cards in my TCG player because, like I said, it will just take up space, and it will take time, man. It will definitely take time. I'd rather just start, you know, keep moving uh, with my inventory. Just, just don't stop, man. Um, it's better for these cards to just like move in the market. Or have someone, uh, there's an optic projector. Uh, it's better for them to just like move them. Uh, I, I'd rather just like 
convert these to like a product or uh, let's just say uh, I'm thinking right now uh, if I can get like a, a booster box of some sort, right? So these are like the, the rares. Look at that. That's probably like a hundred plus. And then there are foil rares. Yeah. It doesn't make sense, man. Like this is probably like 15 cents in PCG player when I can just like buy list it for the same price. You know, either I get the money or, you know, just buy list it at 35 or is that 30 percent now or 25 percent on top of it yeah so i can convert these uh cards to um cash or or um store credit uh to get me like a, a discount on on their product you know so look at these uh regular mythics look at that yeah so that's kind of like my strategy with buy list i don't usually buy list cards just to buy list like a, an expensive card because you'll, you'll get hit with the you know lgs margin um, i usually use buy list to convert it into cash if it's the same if i list it on pcg player or i buy list cards uh, to convert it into um product you know so i can get like a full set of commander decks uh whatever it is um, minus whatever how much I'm buy listing you know so that's why I, I can get some of look at Alila yeah it's crazy right Grim Flayer look at that uh, mythics so I can get like a discount you know let's say a hundred bucks for the booster box I can get it for 80 or 70 dollars so you know what I'm saying so it's 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 better to, to just like do it that way uh, and but that's just me though. That's the only reason why I do buy list. I don't just buy list like freaking dual land or I don't know like an expensive card uh, because yeah you'll get you'll definitely get less. Uh, but in my opinion, cool stuff Inc. Uh, is is really good with their buy list though. It's, sometimes it's like really close to the market. So if you calculate it, you know like if you sell it on your own, um, you get hit with fees. You know shipping they're kind of close you know let's just say it's a hundred dollar card uh if you sell it yourself you'll get 75 or something like that right uh, but their buy list is like right around 60. so if you think about it the gap is closer on some cards uh not everything uh so i mean if you want to just take that loss and you know obviously you got to calculate uh your time as well you know and selling shipping and maybe consider some people like we're gonna scam you so 75 dollars or 60 dollars you know and also if you wanna like i said buy list it for store credit that's 60 will go up to like i don't know 65 70 dollars so the gap is like really close so that's why that's the only reason why i do uh, buy list uh, and for the last part uh, i just want to showcase some of the cards man look there's some a lot of great cards that sold today uh let's start on this side so we got here uh some of the lord of the rings that we opened look at that uh let me see last march uh, of the ends look at that 13 12 dollars for for this order look at that nice right we got some of the fetch lamps that we opened look at that regular both regular wood wood uh wooden foothills 11 bucks Check this out, man. I know you've seen this. Uh, we opened this in uh, one of the Lord of the Rings set box that we opened. It's crazy, right? 50 bucks for that one, even for a damage. It's crazy. This is a damage card, man. Damage card. This is like the, the box stopper. See that line? See? It's crazy. From the pack. From the pack. It's crazy. Uh, so we got that. And then we got last march of the ends uh, this is the regular copy 12 dollars for that um look at this nether goifs 11 bucks 12 bucks <laughs> for the foil version we got a couple of uh stack over here a bunch of lord of the rings you know 13 bucks for this order you know delighted halfling uh more fresh land that's so look at this Foil windswept heath. Look at that. Nine bucks, man. It's crazy. Less than ten bucks. 
Uh, Bloodstained Mire, uh, 1075 for a regular copy. Ooh, really low, right? Um, and you got a couple of the Modern Horizon 3 cards that we open on that gift bundle. Look at that. We got uh, we already sold a Johnny. You know, boom, 22. Uh, Page, look at that. Still going strong, bro. $32 for that one. It's crazy, right? Page is so powerful. And then you have, don't forget these in your bulk invasion cards, man. Obsidian Acolyte and Crimson Acolyte. Crazy. Look at this. $8 just for like six commons. Commons. <laughs> commons, bro. So, yeah, I just want to highlight that. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I just want to, uh, like I said, not much going on right now. I just want to highlight a couple things. You know with the buy list thing and the the art cards um but yeah so i think um still going strong i uh, appreciate it to all the new subscribers uh, we just passed 2000 subscribers and if you guys have any questions i'm running a uh, q and a 2000 subscriber um you go to my community post uh if you have any question just go there and comment there and i'll do a, a video uh, once I compile all the questions, even on my Facebook, sometimes some uh, some subscribers are actually messaging me uh, a couple questions there. So, yeah. So, like I said, not much going on, just staying busy work. Uh, so, yeah, that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any video. And with that, hang out, boys. Peace.